What's up everybody? In this video, I want to talk to you guys about cell cameras and you know our experience with it. I'll preface it by saying we don't have a super ton uh, amount of experience with it. This year was the first year running our cell camera for the Cuddy Link system, but we had a lot of really good success with it. I don't know if you'll say that us shooting three deer and three people tagging out on um, mature whitetails before November 6th was all due to the cameras, but I do think it did pave a, a way for us to be able to do that. So I want to preface this by saying that you know we've been using the Cuddyback Cuddy Link system since last year and really like the system. We are in no way, shape, or form affiliated with Cuddyback. Um, I really do like the system though, so if anybody at Cuddyback is watching, uh, hit, you guys, hit your boys up here and we'll be happy to talk. So yeah, overall, I really do like the system. I'm not getting anything for saying any of that. We pay full retail price just like everybody else here. So if you guys are interested in the systems, we've got other videos about them, what we like about them. But I'll kind of give you a general overview of why I like the Cuddy Link systems. They send all of your pictures through a link system. So you can have one home camera and it links to, you know, I think up to 16 different cameras. And it allows you to, you know, only, you know, last year we uh, pulled the card from the, our one home camera. Where this year we picked up that cell camera, which allowed it to send all the camera pictures to the home cell camera, which would sell, send all of the pictures to an email address that we were able to check um, eight hours a day, you know, 24 hours a day if we really wanted to, but we were able to check every eight hours, new photos would roll in, and we would know what was moving on the farm. Um, at what location and why and it, it really allowed us to know exactly what was going on with, with the property. Now I'm not saying you have to use the Cuddyback or Cuddy Link system by any means. There's a lot of really good cell cameras out there on the market. I just like the ability to send everything to one location, have one cellular plan and, and get information from literally every every camera. So I don't have any other experience of other good cell cameras. So. For those of you guys who have used cell cameras in the past that like a specific brand or have good good things to say about some, or even honestly who have bad things to say, drop them in the description box below because not only it helps us know, hey, what are good other cell cameras out there to check out, but it also gives you know other people that I same idea and also what to avoid because you know we're all in this together. I don't want you guys to spend your money on something that's junk and. You know, I hope you guys don't recommend me to to buy something that's junk either, because uh, we all work for our money, money, and you know, don't want to waste anybody's money or time, obviously. So yeah, like I said, this was the first year of using the cell cam system, and I would say I was honestly kind of skeptical about it, but I was really, really excited about the ability to be able to check your camera from not going into it and spooking anything, um, and just getting it on your phone at all times. And, you know, Hunter and I always made the joke, you know, when we first got the system, we were like, <laughs> we were like messed up in the head because we were always going and looking at the email address, trying to figure out, hey, what deer's where? Why didn't we get pictures at this time frame? Why did it send us to us a minute later? And we were just, it was just really funny because, you know, it's like kid in a candy store. You're getting pictures sent to your phone of, of deer on the property and at that almost at the exact same time, you're like, man, this is awesome. I love this. <laughs> and overall, you know, kind of wore off. You got used to it after a while. Um, you know, in, in, I guess the new, I would say, wore off and you could really focus on your day instead of just looking at your phone and, and the trail camera pictures that were coming in. But overall, I really think this cell camera gives you that capability to know what's on the property, what's moving where and what's not. And, you know, allows you to get that intel and that, you know, a little bit higher leg on that mature whitetail that might allow you to, you know, harvest him the next day. A good example of, I think, a hunt that really showcased the ability for us to know what was going on the farm, where to sit, was Hunter's deer, Hunter's buck he shot on the very first night he hunted for 2019, uh, which is crazy. Uh, the day before, we actually got trail camera pictures of a buck we call a big nine on this big green um, it's about an acre of, you know, turnips, chicory, and uh, clovers. Um, it was early October. I think it was the first weekend in October. And um, we got pictures of the big nine in there hitting a scrape. Uh, I think it was 30 minutes at least before uh, the end of legal shooting light. And so Hunter saw the picture and he was able to, you know, get down there early on a Friday afternoon. Allows him to get into the stand, hoping that he would be able to see the big nine. Uh, get some get some real eyes on him and get some intel but as truth be told big nine never come came out 
but you know all the other bucks came in and hunter was able to harvest another big deer that was on our shooter list and that was the stubby 10 and a lot of you guys have probably seen that hunt but it, it turned out perfectly and i think if hunter's here today he'd say hey you know the reason why i shot that buck was because i was using a cutty cutty link cellular system or just a cellular system in general um, although he didn't kill the specific deer that he got a picture of, it gave him that insight of, hey, deer are hitting this general spot, go check it out. And it really helped to, helped to figure out where to go. Now, I will preface that by saying that with the cell camera, camera capabilities, I think we utilized it sometimes too much as a crutch, meaning that, you know, I guess speaking on my terms, uh, you know, I'd look at the camera pictures all the time and I'd go, hey, why are we not getting any pictures of the big nine or the big seven? Or why is this buck not here today when he was here three days ago? It's like, did he leave? Did he go away? What's going on with the property? And then you just have to sit there and remember, hey, you're getting pictures sent to you every single day. You know, trail cameras are great and they give you good intel, but they don't tell you everything. When you're up in a tree stand or even hunting out of a ground line, you're able to turn your head and look left and right and even behind you or below you <laughs> and figure out, hey, you know, where are deer moving? Are they over here on this trail? Uh, you know, with the trail camera, you've got it really set up on one spot facing one specific trail or scrape or whatnot. And if a deer walks too far out, you're not going to get a picture. If a deer walks behind the camera, you're not going to get a picture. And if a deer doesn't walk in front of your camera at all, you're not going to get a picture, right? So uh, I think it's a good tool to use, but don't use it so much as a crutch. Meaning that, you know, uh, if you get a trail camera picture, I guess in Hunter's case, if you get a trail camera picture of a deer the night before, and you're like, hey, I got to go back to that spot. The deer's going to be here tomorrow night or tonight. I'm going out hunting. I'm going to be there because he was there. Uh, I think... I think you can over, you can overthink it too much and say, hey, the deer was here, I need to go here, whereas you should really be hunting the situation. Um, obviously, you know, each situation is different um, in different instances and whatnot, but what I'm trying to just relay with everybody, if you get a trail camera picture with cellular of a deer that was at that spot, at, you know, yesterday, don't just hunt that spot because the trail camera picture told you that that deer was there. Yes, in some cases, you will be able to kill that buck and he'll be patternable, but a lot of times it could be a fluke, it could be a whatnot, but it gives you it gives you that intel to know, hey, he was there, maybe I know where he's at and he just didn't make it to the camera, maybe I could push in a little bit further and, and get that shot. So hopefully that made sense um, because for one case with that, uh, one example was actually the Big 7 this year. We got pictures of him um, sporadically. He's a big, old, mature bully buck on the farm that dad was actually able to harvest, and it was super cool um, to be able to put everything together and, and see that deer fall because he was just a, a true monarch of the farm. So like I was saying, we usually would get trail camera pictures of the big seven probably around every 20 days, maybe a little less, but overall, he was just really elusive. He, he wasn't in one spot. He wasn't patternable. He always changed up what he was doing, and he was just a big, smart, mature old deer. And, you know, we used the cameras to really track where he was living. At one point, he was living on the, the front portion of the farm, and then he was in the middle, and then he was in the back, and then he was gone altogether. And we were kind of kicking ourselves, like, man, where did he go? We just can't get a beat on this deer, right? And finally, Dad went and hunted a spot that we didn't have any trail cameras. We didn't have it. We didn't have anything. We just had a stand that we put up this this late summer, and it was a spot that, hey, this will be a really good spot, especially in November. And Dad went in there first sit, and lo and behold, here comes the big seven on a dime, hitting multiple scrape after multiple scrape, like he owned the place because he did. And we never had a single trail camera picture, and the closest trail camera we had to him was probably about 60 yards away from the closest point of where it was at. Actually, in that same field that Hunter shot his, uh, his stubby 10 buck this year. But we weren't getting any pictures of him on that food plot whatsoever. So we just assumed, hey, he was gone. Where'd he go? But in reality, this deer was on the property every single day. Honestly, if, if we really had to make the, the right guess, because, you know, he was battle scarred from fighting deer and, you know, you know, fighting deer off of his territory, hitting these scrapes that he's probably been hitting every single day, but we've been missing him. Dad was able to shoot that buck at 10 yards right, right under the stand. 
and you know it just goes to show you that trail camera pictures do come in handy but they don't tell you everything so hopefully everything made sense with everybody overall i really do recommend that if somebody was you know thinking about you know picking up a cell camera or had the ability or capability to you know add that one more thing to their arsenal that might you know allow them to get one more leg up on that that big elusive whitetail um, i would say yeah give it a try honestly because you know you really have nothing to lose Cell cameras have really come down in price over the years. Yeah, they are steep, but you know, if you really want to try to get a beat on what's going on in your farm and you know have some fun with pictures and getting them sent to you all the time, it's really exciting. Um, but you know, you don't necessarily need it for sure to to kill a big mature whitetail. Obviously, you don't need trail cameras by any means either. Um, but it just really gives you kind of that insight of you know what to do on the farm and really specifically where to stay out of at certain periods of time. That's something I didn't hit on the video yet. But what we were using this cell camera for the most is to know where deer were going back into bed or going out to go feed, you know, on our neighboring property or or whatnot. Um, and it allowed us to know where to not go in, you know, going in in the dark or coming out at, at night in the dark because we didn't want to spook any deer. Like our main goal with our property is not to spook any deer. Like 100% don't spook anything because we don't want to get pushed off on the neighbor's farm and get shot or get relocated and never see them again. So we were really using this, the system to know where the deer were at, where to stay out of, how to get in and get out without breaking their, their habits and their areas as well. And one more item to note about cellular systems is they are good. We haven't had any problems by any means, but I would see that they are good um, if you have issues with trespassers or, or whatnot. It allows you to, you know, put it up on your property border or, you know, really be able to monitor what's going on. Get pictures of, you know, somebody on your property walking in. You call the local authorities and you have the problem taken care of. Or you can go there with the local authorities and nicely tell them to leave, which... You know that wouldn't happen <laughs> nobody's gonna be nice about it all right so i'm gonna stop blabbing uh, if you guys like the video please make sure you hit the thumbs up button and to subscribe we really appreciate everybody's support over the years we can't believe that we're like right at 10,000 subscribers almost at this point we're like seriously thank everybody for the support you guys have shown us over the years i don't think we deserve any of it but i our passion is you know just sharing our adventure with all you guys and we want to hear how you guys are doing so please make sure you throw it in the comments below share pictures with us of you know your successes your failures you know what you're seeing out there we like interacting we just want to we just want to see people out hunting because you know we're so passionate about it and we just want to get more people out in the sport of hunting so with that i'm going to stop talking because i know you guys will all be tired of me talking so uh with that thanks for watching and we'll see everybody in the next one so